Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January the 23rd of 2021. Well, it is titled Recycling Cassiopeia A. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of a supernova remnant. And this happens at the end of the life of a massive star. So something that our sun will never do. Our sun does not have sufficient mass to build up the instabilities in its core that could eventually cause it to explode. So our sun will undergo a much less violent death, but very massive stars will do this and will explode expelling material out into space in a massive explosion, uh, much more much stronger than anything we can even begin to imagine here on Earth. And what we see here is the supernova remnant in a combination of x ray data, looking at x ray emission, so very high energy light, and optical or visible light from the Hubble Space Telescope. So taking a look at those two and putting them together, allow us to get a better picture of what might be happening within this supernova. Now a supernova of this type which we classify as a type 2 supernova is what happens to a massive star at the end of its life and during a star's life it fuses elements together to create heavier elements so our sun fuses hydrogen into helium in its core as a way of producing energy. More massive stars and stars later in their lives will then fuse helium into carbon and oxygen and neon and work their way up the periodic table. However, each of those gets you progressively less and less energy. So it is harder and harder to get the energy. And eventually we get up to uh, uh, iron and iron is the most tightly bound element. And you cannot get any energy out of fusing hydrogen. So what happened to a star like this is that it built up a core of iron and had no further way of getting energy. So you had a core of iron that was contracting under under its own gravity and getting hotter and hotter and eventually it would get to the point where you would fuse iron atoms together. However, that loses energy, which means the core would continue to collapse and it would be a runaway implosion collapsing downward and then expelling the material outward, bouncing it back and expelling out into space, leaving us with a supernova remnant such as we see here behind. And this is where a lot of the heavier elements, anything other than hydrogen and helium are created and expelled out into space so that many millions and millions of years from now, they can eventually become parts of new stellar clouds that will form new stars. So the elements from this supernova will combine with other dust clouds and other supernovae that occur elsewhere in the galaxy and over a billion years or so will eventually begin to form new stars with these heavier elements. So this is where many of the heavy elements that make up our bodies come from. So anything other than hydrogen in, in our body was formed and probably often expelled out into space in something like what we see here today. So that was our picture of the day for January the 23rd of 2021. It was titled Recycling Cassiopeia A. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Massive Galaxy. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.